Hi, it's Maria, and it's time for Core and More. This is a 30 minute class where we will do just what it says Core and More. Today, we're going to work a little on our glutes, and we're going to do a little bit of chest and arm work with some push ups. Um, some things to remember one, you want to have some water. We don't need weights or anything like that. Um, if you have a mat, that would be good or you can use a towel to lay back on because 90% of what we're going to do is going to be on the floor and a supine position on your on your back. Uh, so speaking about being on your back, you want to listen to your body. Um, whenever you're doing any kind of exercise, you want to listen to your body, you want to pay attention to your form. When you're laying on your back for exercises, you want to make sure, depending on the exercise, that your back is flat on the floor. And one way to do that is to roll up and then roll back one vertebrae at a time. So at any time if you're doing an exercise and you feel that your back is arched off the floor, then you can sit up, roll back one vertebrae at a time. Now the back is nice and flat on the floor and you cannot get your hands under your back. So that's good. That's what you want to do. When you're doing push-ups, right now you can see my hips are lined up with my knees. Okay, that's not what we want. So you can take your knees back, take your hips forward. You see my back is flat, and now my hips are out past my knees. You also want to make sure you have an alignment between your shoulder, your elbow, and your hand. Now most of the movement for a push-up, and you want to make sure you have your belly button tucked, most of the movement for a push-up is in the elbows. So if you're gonna be on your knees, you can either cross your feet or you can hold them out, but you wanna make sure those hips are not over top of your knees. And you're gonna just go straight down and back up. Straight down and back up. So you go down and then you push the floor away from you. You go down and then you exhale, pushing that floor away from you. That breathing exhale inhale is very important because whenever you're, you squeeze your core, think of when you're making your muscles nice and tight, that's when they're the smallest and you want to blow all the air out. And then when you go back to a relaxed state, you want to inhale. Um, and make sure you consult with a doctor before starting any regular routine exercise. I miss you guys. Um, again, this is Core and More. And um, you can join me for 30 Minute Tabata, which is every Wednesday at six o'clock. So let's go. We talked about push-ups and that's our first exercise. So I'll count down from three and I'll say three, two, one, start. And we will do our exercise, you work at your own pace. Um, it's, we're gonna do about 20, 30 seconds. It's not about how many you do. It's about form, listening to your body, think about your alignment. So I'd rather you get five, um, five push-ups in with good form than 10 or 15 with bad form because that's not good for your body. So it's not about how many you do, it's about how many you do successfully. And anything that you can do with good form is success. So I'm gonna start my music. So we're gonna inhale through our nose, exhale. Take one arm across the front of the body, stretch that shoulder, and then switch. Let's stretch that forearm as we're going to do some push-ups. And same with the other. We're going to sit back and come forward. We're going to sit back again. Come forward. Take your arms to one side. Come back center. The other side. Come back center. Get into a push-up position. Remember, 
want to make sure those hips are not over top of those knees. Make sure we got that straight line. Need 
too. We'll arch the back, heel to the floor, and lift. Keep it going. Almost there. I'm sorry, time. <laughs> Don't switch. I didn't mean to switch. And stop. Now we're gonna come flat to the floor. Extend those arms out. Extend those legs out. Toes pressed against the floor. Arms straight out. Hope you can see. Our next exercise. The feet are gonna come off the floor. Along with my thighs. So I can get my hands in here. They're gonna come off the floor. And my chest with this. Okay, so we're going to start in three, two, one. Here we go. We're going to lift and lower. You can keep the feet center. And bringing those arms back. Squeezing my back muscles. Squeezing my chest. Feeling this in my upper core. That's it. Don't forget to raise those legs up off the floor. Down 
onto your stomach. Feel yourself nice and flat. Your chest, your core, your thighs. Nice and flat on the floor right now. Nice and flat. And then from here, you're gonna squeeze your chest to come up, extend out, and those legs are gonna come up simultaneously with it. In three, two, one, start. Shivering a little bit, that's good. As long as you keep that core off the floor, that's fine. Then stop. Sit back. So now, I want you to pretend, okay, your knees are now lined up with your hips. Okay? Elbow, you can see shoulder, elbow, and hand lined up. Have a cup of coffee on my back. I don't want that coffee to spill. My chest and my entire upper core is parallel to the ground. And without shifting my weight, I'm gonna lift one leg up. So if you see from the side, I'm forming a straight line. That upper leg is parallel to the floor. My upper leg, I'm sorry, my lower leg is perpendicular my foot is flat, like I'm going to step onto the ceiling. And that's what I'm going to pretend to do. So keep your weight centered. And we're going to lift and lower. 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 Lift. And lower. lift. Now notice. It's going up. Lift. And that lower. Point. So the starting point is here. I won't take my knee lower than that. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift. I'm going to turn this way to make sure I keep my chest square with the floor. Curl out to the floor. That's it. I got coffee on my back. I don't want to spill it. Time. Roll that back, arch that back. 
leg, back of my leg, my quads, parallel to the floor. That foot is flexed, like I'm gonna step onto the ceiling, and I'm gonna start in three, two, one. Here we go. Got the hot coffee on my back, and I don't want it to spill. Making sure my chest is parallel to the floor along with my hips. And you squeeze me. Keep going. I'm trying, to, trying to make sure that leg stays straight. Some water. Let me see. Still with me? I see. I see. Then come over on your back. Lay back flat. And we're going to tap out angles. So side, center. Side, working those obliques. Keeping my head off the floor. You got it. If 
you need to, you can grab some water. I know I said we would take some water breaks. Let's see how much time we have left. Oops, we got more exercise to get through. Take your water break. Next exercise, we're gonna sit back. Hands behind our heads, legs out straight. We're gonna take the legs up, keep the head and shoulder off the floor, and pedal the legs. We're gonna feel this in your upper four. In three, two, one, start. Keep the head and shoulder blades off the floor.
the glutes back, legs are straight. Put your weight to one side, stretching the inner thigh. Let's come back center and shift. Come back center, slicing the knees, hands and knees. Lift and lean up, stretching your back. Let's shift, switch. One foot back, front foot step out for stability. Toes pointing forward, shift that weight to my front leg. Stretch the quads. Back heel up. I'm gonna step in a little, I'm gonna reach straight up and come straight down from a straight line. My lower leg is parallel to the floor. Upper leg is perpendicular to the floor. I'm gonna come back, back stretch on this quad. Switch. Flat on the floor. Stretching the Come up. Go straight down. Stretching a little bit more. Come up. Slight bend in the knees. Step out. Lift the tilt. Bend the front to up. Front toe down. Slight bend. Switch. Lift. Tilt. and lift. Drop your head, roll up. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Thank you for sharing this half hour with me. I hope it was worth it. Remember, you're special. There's only one of you. Be the best you can be. Because no one can be better at being you than you. Thank you. I look forward to seeing you again.